Hello and welcome to this episode of MakerBox Mondays. In this episode I'm going to have a look at a color fab filament called LWPLA Natural. It's quite a nice and strange filament <laughs> I would say, but I had fun using it. But let's have a look after the intro. So like I mentioned, this is quite special filament. If you, if you print it above 230 degrees, it starts to foam and expand while you print it. And I was printing this filament at 240 and, and because it expands, you have to reduce the extrusion multiplier. And I was using 0 0.4 in the extrusion multiplier settings to, to get my prints. And, um, looking pretty nice, but very like foam core <laughs> like, but uh, let's have a look at the label and I'll read it out for you. So here they say the temperature should be 195 to 260 and, and that's quite high for a PLA, but as you raise the temperature it will foam more or expand. So bed temperature should be room temperature to 60, speed 40 to 100 millimeter, and cooling yes. And here they say cooling change temperature and flow to adjust density of print. And here they say the first filament of its kind using an active foaming technology to achieve lightweight low density PLA parts. At around 230C, this material will start foaming, increasing its volume by nearly three times. User, users can decrease material flow by 60% to achieve lightweight parts or use the expanding properties to effectively reduce print time by using big layers height or single extra thick parameters. And you can get more information at colorfab.com and it's made in the Netherlands by Colorfab. But let's have a look at the print. Um, I had quite good fun. This is extremely lightweight <laughs> pen um, As you can see, there's uh, some stringing issues. Uh, basically, it's oozing because if you stop a print, uh, the material oozes out of the nozzle because it's still expanding in the nozzle. So it's, it's a oozing problem. It's difficult to, to battle. But the thing is, with a knife, it's very easy to, to clean up. So you can see it's very easy to, to clean, so it's not like a big big issue. But the material is, is quite like soft material and you can easily indent it <laughs> with your nails or um, some tools. But print quality wise it looks pretty nice and like the surface finish is uh, like a foam. It's like a, yeah, it's basically like a foam, <laughs> a very dense, dense foam, but extremely lightweight. Um, Here's my make coin that came out excellent. Um, it's maybe too bright <laughs> to see. Uh, print quality wise, it was giving me excellent results. Um, at 240 degrees, uh, I was using 0 0.4 extrusion multiplier, and I think that was a pretty nice setting for that temperature. Um, this came out excellent. Uh, I printed out this bridging test just to see how bridging performance was. Um, bridging was quite nice, but uh, the oozing issue was apparent. <laughs> and that's throughout the prints. It's, it's uh, because if you stop printing, it will extrude like a very light foam <laughs> for quite some time. So, but as before, it's easy to clean up. But bridging capability was quite nice, not uh, so much drooping. Uh, I also tested this overhang test and um, here it came out pretty nice. Here I was just cutting into it just to test the material. Here's Mr. Belly and um, also the oozing issue but easy to clean up but otherwise surface quality like here on the back is really smooth and, and nice and nice texture to it. Um, here's, a, here's an Omnum by Tessa that came out excellent. You can see here in the back side really nice texture. Um, small small amount of oozing here in the feet. Um, Otis by Gareth, same, <laughs> some oozing. Um, she lays a lot as well, some oozing, <laughs> but really nice. Uh, and just for fun, I, I printed that 240 uh, and had the extrusion multiplier set to 1. So using that temperature and the expanding feature, 
<laughs> you get a lot of uh, over extrusions and, and oozing and issues that it is just for fun. But as you might see here on the table, there's quite a lot of prints. And even though this was just normal size sample, because of the expanding properties, I could print uh, quite a number of prints. And I was like never ending <laughs> story to finish up this small amount of filament. But I had good fun with it. It's uh, really nice and it's easy to handle. And uh, like the parts are extremely lightweight. And this could be very nice in like prop making. And, and, and such things where you can uh, have lightweight parts uh, in props and I think this is a really cool material so if you get a chance to buy this filament uh, I would try it out but this will be it for this video if you like what I'm doing here on the channel please subscribe and, and, and give this video a thumbs up and, and a comment and let me know what you think but this will be it for this video and I thank you for watching